Hello Cancer, welcome to your June 2022 energy reading. This reading is a general reading, so apply it as it fits in your life, or love or work, okay? So today we're using the Vice Versa Tarot deck. If you're not familiar with the Vice Versa Tarot deck from Los Carabeo, it's a tarot deck that basically has two sides for each uh, arcana, minor and major arcana, so it has two meanings. Of course, as every tarot deck, uh, this has a specific meaning because we can uh, interpret it with the classic uh, tarot um, deck meaning, but each deck has its particularities right so I like to study each one of them I'm still studying a little bit of this one I'm not 100% you know uh, <laughs> let's say fast on it but I'm, I'm getting there and I really love it okay so we're using the vice versa tarot deck then for clarification if necessary we're using the mini which is tarot from Alan Duggan and at the end the oracle deck that we're using is the the fairy Teo Oracle deck, which is from Nicole Feltovich, and I will explain to you where I found this deck and why I like it so much. Okay, here we go, Cancer. So, Cancer, where are you right now? So, in your position where you are right now, we have the Queen of Cups. So, in this deck, the Queen of Cups, she doesn't have juice, she doesn't, doesn't have a crown, she's, she's just sad in her amazing uh, crystal throne with her amazing, we, if this was a Johnny Depp, <laughs> a Johnny Depp um, that position, we would say that this is a mega pint of love, okay? <laughs> so this is a mega cup, okay, that she's carrying. And why? Because she is simply uh, aware of her... It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, masculine, feminine energy. It's just a person that knows the value of, of, of this person. Uh, it's a person that is ready to love, to be loved. She knows how to love. She knows how to be loved. And she's just there sitting on the throne, attracting, right? The beautiful things and the beautiful love that it will come sooner or later, right? In the position of potential and challenges we have... Uh, this side, we have two sides here, it's not much orthodox, this Ten of Pentacles, okay? So in this card, they are separated. You have the couple looking at the throne with the... Um, maybe he's a king or maybe he's this guy, right? Maybe he's this guy, he's kind of a king, he's kind of a, a senior, he's kind of a wise man from the tribe, right? So you got this side, meaning... I don't think that this is a challenge, actually based on the first card that we got, I think that this is a, a potential. Meaning that, you know, this guy here, he worked hard all his life and he deserves all the blessings. So this is the potential of the situation. You are attracting everything that is good because you have worked hard and you do deserve. So you, you know, you throw your worries away and say, okay, now I'm attracting, I'm receiving, I'm in receiving mode. I can give love and I can receive love. So I think that this really is um, a potential of the situation in the beginning of June uh, 2022, okay? What to focus on? You have the page of wands, so you have the back of the page of wands that is a page that he, he, he is or she is underneath... Um, sky full of stars and there's a phoenix rising here right so this is a call it's a call for you to focus on your inner growth in your uh, renewing your energy renew your, renewing yourself it's a rebirth um you're finding your inner call you're you're studying some things more spiritually and also if you're not a spiritual person which I doubt otherwise you wouldn't be listening to a tarot card reading but if you're not that spiritual at least you are really searching and actually nurturing the side of you that is it's not only tied to material and earthly things right you're you want more you're expanding so this is what the universe wants to focus on 
okay in your recent past we have the uh, five of Pentacles but this is not out in the, in the snow this is inside the church right so recently um, cancer you felt a little bit of uh, maybe you did something that you felt guilty for for doing that but actually you know you did something because you had to because it was maybe not good for other people or one of an other person but it, it was the best for you you know and maybe you felt a little bit guilty because you chose yourself okay well you cannot feel guilty for choosing yourself but still you can keep in touch with the other person in the outside of the card giving a helping hand right so you how you gotta do is break the glass right even if it's a beautiful glass something that you would never break but you need to break to reach out to this person listen and saying hey I know I chose myself but this doesn't mean that I don't like you or I don't love you it's just that I had to, cho to choose uh, to make a choice and the, the right choice was me okay this does nothing personal right <laughs> no hard feelings so this is what what you came to to realize in your recent past okay what are your strengths in this situation on June cancer well you are now working or awakening the noblest part of yourself okay and this also can mean that this is if this is not love if this is work that you are in contact with some powerful people okay they are by your side and they can help you to achieve your goals so you you are in contact with a tribe of noble people or important people or influential people that can help you in your future okay in your future here we have the strength and this is the front part of the, st the strength because this is the back side okay so this meaning that your spiritual self your higher self is learning to tame your ego and you are uh, in tune you are balancing ego and spirit and emotions right so you're not only vibrating in your ego but you are being uh, noble enough to understand when you need to choose yourself without losing your more spiritual and emotional side okay you are balancing the two sides of you okay everybody knows if you want to be loved as here in the queen of pentacles uh, sorry in the oh my god can i speak today in the queen of cups you have to love yourself so you can love other people right it's always a balance you cannot you cannot love other people more than yourself otherwise you hurt yourself and if you are too egocentric or egoistic you you will hurt other people right so it is also a balance of two things of the two sides what is the approach that the universe wants you to to take um towards this situation you have the star and this is the front side of the star okay so you are a star seed but the universe wants you to know that you must keep the hope you must keep dreaming keep wishing for the things you love and the things you want to achieve in your life okay so the universe wants you to have a hopeful approach in the situation <laughs> what the universe wants you to know about the situation and you have the back side of the hermit right this is the light and this is the search for the light so what the universe wants you to know cancer is that you already realized a little bit that you are not the kind of person that can live this life only in a superficial way only in a materialistic way you need to find a sense to what you're doing you need to find a purpose for the things around you and the things within you so the universe is telling you to align yourself with this search and keep studying keep going through the things that are important for you not only dwelling on material and tangible things but also dedicating yourself to this side of um spiritual uh, sci uh philosophical uh, part of your life okay your hopes and fears here we have the back side of the world this is talking to me and is telling me that you feel that there are unfinished business cancer okay you fear that you didn't close a cycle in the way you should have but you know the universe is telling you 
with this card over here. This hopes and fears is always the position that makes us understand which part of the outcome of our lives, of the expectations that you, we want to control in the situation, right? So this is a very important warning for us because in, in, in if it is a hope or if this is a fear, we must let go of the expectation in controlling the outcome of the situations, right? You go with the flow, you just do what you gotta do without having expectations, right? In a more stoic way, because if you do what you gotta do, you're never wrong, right? So this card is telling us, Cancer, that you, you must not think of a linear result, meaning that, you know, in life we have cycles that they close, so another cycle must begin. So you don't have unfinished business here, okay? Because you close the cycle. Maybe the outcome wasn't what you expected, but if something is has ended, if you close the cycle, you are going to start a new. You're going to a new cycle in your life. So grab your stuff, grab your uh, uh, stardust over here and go for it, okay? You're already flying in the energies of the universe. The outcome here, we have this side of the ten of wands. So this side is the, is this, the side that tells us to delegate, to let go of the burden. And this side is a little more philosophical. You see, this guy here has a statue telling me that he is a martyr. You know why? Because he's always carrying the weight for other people. And so what they did, what did they do? Did they help him? No, 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 no. They just made him a statue. But guess what? A statue is not helping you to carry all this weight in your back, right? So your outcome here is telling you, Cancer, attention. Do not be a martyr by carrying other people's weight, okay? You must understand that each one of us must carry its own. And if this is not your weight, honey, let it go. You don't want a statue, okay? You don't want. It doesn't serve you. It's just a piece of uh, rock over there. It, is, it, is, it, is, it doesn't have any, any uh, utility in your life, okay? Overall energy, we have uh, this side of the Tree of Wands, which is the front side, the, the traditional side that we have. This is uh, telling me, Cancer, be ready to receive everything that you have been worked for, that you've been waiting for, because it is coming, okay? It is coming. So, I don't think I need to clarify anything. I think your reading was so clear here, so clear. So I will jump right into the, the Oracle cards. So these cards, uh, actually I came across this deck because I, download an, I downloaded an app in my phone which are the fairy tale Oracle, Oracle, um, Oracle sorry. And I liked so much uh, the, the, I liked uh, the messages so much that I started like browsing on the web to see if I could find the, the deck actually, and I found it. So these are paintings from Nicole Feltovich, which is the author of this deck. She's based in the US and she, she would not, uh, she doesn't, she didn't have, I'm sorry, um, shipping uh, out, uh, overseas. I'm Italian and I live in France, so I begged her to like make a calculation for me and I would pay for the, the shipping. She did so. She also sent me these uh, other cards that are, I think are hers also. Yes, sacred, yes, it's, it's, you see here, copyright 20, uh, 2017, Nicole Feltovich, Sacred Mystery Arts. So she, she sent these chakra cards for me as a gift. Uh, and so if you like the messages and if you like the paintings, I really love to uh, understand uh, the archetypes of the fairy tales and how we apply in our lives. That's why I love this so much. So if you want to check her out, and she has an Etsy shop, as I mentioned, and her website is sacredmysteryarts.com, okay? So let's see, Cancer, what are the messages of this deck for you, okay? 
an additional message from the oops from the universe about your situation in the and your energies in the beginning of June 2022. So it is the angel of grace. Can you see that? Okay. Everything is going to work out fine. The angel of grace breathes deeply. She's focusing inward. She emanates peace, joy, and serenity. She knows that all is well. If you have been struggling recently, this card is a sign that all will turn out well. When the angel of grace shows up in a reading, it means that it's time to surrender control and allow things to unfold. Pay attention to the signs you are receiving. Stay centered and calm and you will be able to move through life with much more grace and ease. Hmm. Inner work, once again. So Cancer, these are the messages and the energies around you in the beginning of June 2022. As always, thank you very much for sharing your time with me. Have a wonderful month of June. Take care out there and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.